Hey everyone, it's Mar, and today I have Monster Exchange, Lorna McNessie Dar, the Loch Ness Monster from Monster High. And she is so cool. And I love her artwork there. And it has passport stamps, Monster Pichu, Rotland, Madrid, and Monster High. And in the box it has some more Hexico and Goreway. And I believe that's just Monster High there with the skull. <laughs> She's holding a passport. She is so pretty. And on the back, it's a big picture close up of her face artwork. Love her eyes. And then let me look this this way if you want to pause and read. And then on the other side has Lorna McNessie. And another of her artwork of her up close. So I am going to pause and get her out of the box. Be right back. Okay, Lorna does come with the brush. The black classic Monster High brush and black stand. So that's yay for stand. She also had, if you a little passport but it's just like a little piece of cardboard so it doesn't open or anything she comes with a like little bag I don't know if it's supposed to be like a suitcase or a purse it has like a crest on it maybe it's her family crest she has like a Loch Ness monster theme going on their stuff so me be a little Loch Ness monster too. It's kind of hard to make out. Go and it does open. And the she comes with a Rotland passport, and it came out of the box like this. I don't know what happened. It's got a little Loch Ness monster. Cute. And her passport. And then here's some like diary and bio and I will let it scan and then you can pause and read it if you would like to. Make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button below so you check out our other videos and don't miss out on anything. I will be unboxing Maricel Coxie coming up in a little while too Ooh. and we have other monster high doll reviews ever after high doll reviews and other things to check out and I don't know if the camera's picking up but there's like passport stamps on the page too kind of in the background which is really neat Get it back in focus here. Oh, okay. And then Lauren McNessie. 14. Monster Parents Loch Ness Monster. Alright. Let's check her out. I love her hair. It's a darker reddish orange on the top. And then this really pretty light orange color at the bottom. With some little bit different shades and streaks. She does, she is a little thin on top with her hair. 
it's a little thinner than some of the other dolls. I don't know if it's because she has it up here, but which is really cute. Curls on top. She has a little beret, maybe is what it is, or cap with the plaid, which is probably her family, maybe her family colors, possibly. I love her big eyes. They're gorgeous. And she has a little two-tone color, if you can see. It's like a light, real light. The inner is a real light pink. And up above is like a green color. And I don't know if the camera's picking up. Her eyebrows are kind of orangish, peachish color. And she has a peach, a peachy peach, kind of orangish, peachy color lip. Except for maybe showing up kind of pink on the camera. She has neat ears. And I believe her neck may be a little bit longer too than the other. And I don't know if it will pick up detailing, but she has like scales. I don't know if it'll focus or come through where you can see, but she's got neat looking scales like on her arms. Now that I might can get to focus there. But it's like that up along her neck too. And she has a neat earring and ear cuff. Kind of a swirl. And I believe it's supposed to see her seaweed or it's supposed to look like a Loch Ness monster. Really cool. A really cute top and skirt. Pink and black. There's a little netting through there. Kind of like a Celtic leather of here pants belt. Kind of straps and some studs that goes around to the back. And that can come off if you don't want it on. Because there's and She has two pieces. I'm going to slide that off of there. Which is nice because usually it's one piece to make it look like two. But she has a skirt with. Oh, I'm. Loch Ness monster print fabric. And it's really cute. Completed. But I'm kind of glad I saw that because she has some body sculpt that I did not realize she had. So we're going to. I can pop off one of her arms to pull the shirt off right quick. She has a neat body sculpt. I don't know if the camera will pick up on it. But that is amazing. It's beautiful. And the scales on the back. And she has this neat tail. But the scales on the leg. But on her stomach and chest. It's a neat pattern. I'm hoping the camera pick is picking it up. But it's really pretty. Sculpting. That is so cool. That is so neat. I did not realize she had a body sculpt like that. Makes me think with like Honey Swamp has body sculpt. Too. And it's neat that she has two piece, a skirt and a shirt, because sometimes they make it look like two piece when they only have one, when it's only, and it's only a, um, 
but they so make it look like a two-piece but it's a one-piece dress a lot of times on the clothes lately and I like separates because then you can mix and match and the skirt is neat because it's got two places because of course you got to have a tail hole for her tail and she has her gills we call it fins and like lagunas they come out I'm leaving the little bands on them for right now but they do because they come out and she has neat shoes it's like stone like a stone wall and then the black and laces really cool she is neat oh we put her arm back on so that's cool with her body sculpt that is a really neat surprise to discover on Lorna McNessie very pretty and oh put this back on if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe give us a big thumbs up like us check us out on Facebook and Twitter we'll be having other doll reviews and other things coming up and I appreciate you checking out Lorna McNessie with me I am so happy to add her to my collection So we will see you later.